In 2018, we set out with some core foundational alliance features and gameplay. On top of this foundation, we are now going to implement a few more advanced alliance features that we're really looking forward to that should take alliance gameplay to the next level. We have two big features coming out for the alliances, is the alliance tech tree and the alliance store. The Alliance Tech Tree is a shared progression system where every Alliance member can work together to unlock uh, bigger and better benefits for the entire Alliance. Alliance Store is an area where individuals in your Alliance can go and spend a currency that your Alliance earns to get new buffs and interesting things there. The Alliance Tech Tree is really about every Alliance choosing for themselves how they want to play Rogue Assault and every member coming together and contributing to achieve that goal. Right out of the gate, we're going to have two branches of the Tech Tree. Logistics and Combat. Logistics is all about uh, increasing the overall production of your Alliance members, increasing their resource productions back in their bases, and it's also about defending those bases and FOBs. The Combat Branch does things that you would expect, right? It increases DPS for your troops, it increases health for your troops. It's also going to increase the percentages of steel when you hit certain targets, as well as reduce cost for attacking from long distances. Metal is the easiest way to contribute. Each donation makes progress in the points needed to reach higher levels or the max level of that tech node. As you upgrade each node, more nodes begin to unlock along the tech tree. And so the more research nodes you upgrade, the more powerful your alliance becomes and the more buffs it provides to each individual member. If you've invested into the tech tree itself, your alliance should be much more agile in terms of its play on the world map, uh, much more powerful in terms of what its troops can do, uh, both for PvP and for PvE. Not only that, but investing in the tech tree allows you to get better buffs in the alliance store itself. The Alliance Store is a place where Alliance members can purchase additional resources and buffs for themselves using two new Alliance currencies, Alliance Credits and Prestige. Credits are earned primarily through engagement. Engagement through almost everything in the game, right? PvP, PvE, or anything else that you're doing, you're going to earn some level of these engagement credits. Anytime an individual member earns Alliance Credits, all other members of an Alliance also receive those credits, similar to how our Alliance gifting system works. The prestige currency is also somewhat engagement based, but what it does is it unlocks tiers within the store itself. The buffs that you purchase in the store are a little bit different than the ones in the tech tree. The tech tree buffs are more plentiful and permanent, but the buffs in the store are more powerful while being time limited in their effect. The boosts in the store actually stack with the Alliance tech tree itself as well. So if you've invested into the tech tree and then you go purchase the boost, you're gonna see even more of a gain which is important for players because you want to have that permanency from the tech tree, but that temporary boost is going to be pretty significant. Now, instead of just resource production buffs, you will have buffs to combat, buffs to base defense, buffs to the PvP steal rate, and lots more to come. The new Alliance features are going to be things that really kind of add to the value for being in an Alliance overall, and that's really one of the things we wanted to push for. Players can really tailor their experience to how they want to play the game, and that will be no more apparent than when they come head-to-head -head with another player. 